Ready. Welcome, everybody, to the fourth season of the Atomic World Challenge. I cannot believe we're here. This has been a long time coming, and we're on, this is the this is four years, four years that we have done this racing uh, and still have a pack of eight people starting off this race. It is incredible. Uh, the stuff that it takes to get here is amazing. So if you see somebody on this track today, they are somebody that's, that's that's up to speed they are up and that's the thing is is today we have there's a par race uh, so what happens is, is that everybody that races this race has to stay under a certain part time today's part time is one minute and I'm gonna tell you right now that one minute is absolutely painful and there they go they're gonna start crossing that finish line right up ahead right here and we have started the race I am so excited. I hope you guys are excited as I am. This has been amazing. This competition has already been heated. We already see some changes in position. So we got who's in third place here. We're going to move up to Funkier. All right, so I wanted to correct everybody because that was the thing is, is one of the big things is um, the big thing about this race is unlike before with points, if somebody was faster than par, they just got deducted points. Now they get deducted positions. So that's huge. Uh, they're going to get a bonus point for the pole. So Shaney gets pole as long as he can stay into that one minute for the whole race. Uh, and also the fastest lap is also going to get a one minute bonus. Uh, Shaney today definitely brought his A game, um, so that's something that's huge. Uh, he's already pushed down. His qualifying time was a minute flat point zero two. Uh, sorry, let me look at it right here. Uh, point zero six two. I'd seen him run a point zero two three on this track, so I knew he was going to be laser focused on this track. And uh, there's Team Chris in fourth position moving up. Talk about somebody who's been two-time champion in the series. Uh, Rhymes up there, solid in his second-place position. And Shane, I think this is Shaney's, Shaney's time. But Andrew Shady, another guy that brought the, brought the heat today. Let's move over to Andrew real quick. Watch this position stuff going on. He's been amazing on track today. <coughs> Look at him. He's going to be looking to nail that time today. He, he really could not find. Oh, and Funky, you're spun out. That's going to drop him back a little bit. Well, let's see another guy here that's we are definitely one of our fan favorites, somebody that we've covered multiple times here, Death Perception. Uh, was having problems getting a car today that met par, but he is here bringing the heat just behind Team Chris, so he's got the pack way up front there. Uh, but it's this is not over by a long shot. You have to stay under a minute. Let's see what we got here. We got .49. So right now, death. See, there it is. Bringing that, bringing that nice HF to the same thing as what we had for qualifying time. That's big. So here's Team Chris once again up in third position with death knocking on the door. It's kind of a weird thing to say. Here comes Sneaky. Death goes in for the pass. And there's uh, Sneaky in his Bestia. He really has really done a really good job with that Bestia from day one. And just so you know, um, this this event was created by Sneaky Giraffe. He has he, he had worked for a long time to refine the system that we have. Um, I came in and applied the points to it. But in reality, I really put a lot of credit to him for working as hard as he has. Uh, to make this event what it is today and it's really cool to be a part of it 
Um, I just can't. It's one of those times where you like. I just feel like I'm along for the ride. I know everybody will look at me and say we put a lot of work into this, and I try to be humble about it and say, you know what, we do, and it's great that we do. Um, but the thing is, is a lot of these guys that come to the track every time and drive some of the coolest cars available in this game uh, and then work hard. They had a, seven days that they practiced every day to make sure that their race times were nailed. I mean, you see them. They're not slowing down here at the beginning. Th this, their speed is their speed. <laughs> so they've done, <clears throat> they've done a lot of work to get where they are today, and it's it really shows. I mean, look at the quality of this. We're going to go up and show off the Shaney car right now. You have to really appreciate this car. The LTD. LG Retro Custom. This car is made. Nice little custom plate he's got going on there. Dialing in the lap today. It's exciting. Dropping back to Team Chris again. Team Chris, a lot to prove. Ex-champion here. Uh, let's see where Jeff seemed to drop back a little bit. So he's right here in this little pack. This group. And I got to say, guys, like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon. I want you guys to be able to see some of this cool racing. This We've really dialed this in. There's a, it's funny because when we do the practices and stuff, a lot of people complain that we really do... Uh, make a lot of fuss when there's a lot of blood sweat and tears that goes into these competitions and it's so cool to see them bring to the track but once they get on the track they are bringing the heat and and being on point so somebody else said that they and rhymes has broke par and so has chewy oh look at this we have a couple of guys that have broke par so what does that mean that means they're going to lose two positions for each second that they are off and that means that anybody that was in their position will move up so uh, for uh, so right now so Rams is in second but he's lost so he'll be back to fourth position if the other people don't break part two that also means that he wouldn't qualify for the best lap death is not given any distance to sneaky right here <clears throat> coming on that inside line all right, just to let you guys know, the qualifying times today were the farthest apart they were was point, uh, six seconds. Point six, so six tenths of a second. It's not given any, any leeway. Mm-mm. I ate. You ever have one of those times when you're looking at a race and you're just like, this is it, man. Just bring in the heat. Let's go back up to the front two. Uh, Rhymes up there. Shaney just doing point after point with, uh, I mean, his lap times, you can set a standard by it. One, one zero point one two one. Funkier may have that fast lap, but that's. Whatever he places at, it's going to drop him off position, move somebody else up, so they'll get the points for that. It's unfortunate, but and I feel bad for Rhymes because <laughs> sometimes you have these events <clears throat> and you're racing that track and you're racing the other person, you want to race ahead of them, but you have to keep your eye on that, that finalized time. Everything is about hitting those laps. And then the other thing, too, is, is with a 20-lap race, uh, you really have you really start having to pay attention to stuff and fatigue kind of sets in. I'm gonna move back to death perception again here. Rhymes is up there wanting the gold. <laughs> so we still have this has kind of been a consistent battle here and I, I'm sure it's gonna be killer 59. Chewy, Andrew, and Funkier all, but they're back at the back, so it doesn't matter if they're doing the faster of the laps. So they'll still be in the positions they're in. <laughs> oh. Passing hard on the inside here is Death Perception as he goes around Sneaky Giraffe. Always Death is bringing the, the coolest looking cars. 
But Team Chris is one of those tough competitors that will sit there and roll that one minute lap all day, not making any difference, just pushing the way she needs to push. And she'll probably look to be coming into second second position here because she's in third right now. But death is moving in. See, that's the thing is, is he'll roll fast, but then he's like, I can't make that one minute over. So he might have to slow down because he's making up a ton of distance. You really have to wait for the person in front of you to make a mistake. Really, it's the secret to this race, and I hate to say it, is really the first lap. Getting that pole position, holding the pole position, and... Um, and then just bringing it home from, from that standpoint. So, see, he had to stand back a little there. So, he comes in, pulls out of the pack, and then has to slow down to get into it. And there's Death Perception. It's a one-minute flat. So, right now, the best lap here is Sneaky Giraffe. Oh, excuse me. No, Death Perception with that 1.065. Man, that was oh up on two wheels. So, he's definitely faster than everybody else. But keeping it consistent is going to be the trick. Jump right back up to Rhymes to see what he's doing. I mean, he is running faster, effectively, than Shaney is. But he seems to be a consistent pace away from him. So Shaney, if he wins this race, which it looks like he will, will under par the way he is, uh, that means he'll get... Uh, so it's how many players do we have here? Eight players in the race. So we'll have eight points plus one. So he'll get nine. Rhymes will get de deducted uh, two positions. So that'll put him um, back in the fourth position. And then it'll move up Team Chris. So this fight back here with Death. Oh, is he moving up? Is he making a move? So there's a debate right here about letting him buy. The two teams are talking about saying Rhymes is a little bit faster, so he's going to try to let him buy. That will not affect his position, obviously. Shaney's got a solid lead here, and the thing is, is I think he wants to focus on getting that. There you go. So there's some distance. So you can tell how certain cars have a zero to sixty that are much more better, much better than other cars, and then they get straight. They get in the straight line. It's like, oh, here was death. Let's see death again. Death's got power. <coughs> oh yeah, he's in front. Where's he at? Oh, he just took that pack over. Uh, and I wanted to jump into GTA is having F1 come. There's going to be. A performance-based system. Oh, right in the not the S curves. No, Whew, that was hot. <laughs> um, the new F1 series is coming to GTA. When it comes to GTA, it will come to us, and we will be definitely. Sneaky just said it. He goes, "Do you look for the times on the checkpoints when you hit the checkpoints?" And it's like, "Yes." Yeah. Oh. Wow, Death had to stop to get ahead of his time, and it ended up rear, sneaky ended up rear ending him. So that might end up being a point deduction for Death. It won't keep him from getting best lap, uh, but that best lap buffer will probably end up hurting him from getting the bonus point because of uh, dangerous race conditions for stopping on the track. You don't want things like that to happen. But, yeah, so like I said, F1, the F1 series is coming to GTA. That series <laughs> that series is going to have some sort of performance-oriented thing in it. We are going to cover it. We're going to have a race series for it, um, and it's going to be big. I cannot wait for it. Um, everybody who's racing can't wait for it. And uh, we are we're geared up and ready to go. We don't know how it's going to be set up. It could be set up in a way that it's like the racing that we have here. Or you can just race those cars in every race, which would be great. 
um, or it could be that um, the races are specific for those cars, like kind of like the the hot ring saber races. <laughs> it could be feasible. Uh, but either way, we're going to be on it. I don't know how we're going to handle it. Uh, pro hoping, I'm hoping and praying that we don't have to use a part-time system for it. How's that? I hope that it's just something we can just send it and, and do it. And the game kind of has its own thing that it sets up. But that's going to be based on how that whole system is set up. So some more distance there. So we're going to go back to, I'm going to go back to Andrew Shady, who is way back in the back. So and, it rhymes right now is saying the rubber band is, is, is the big problem because what will happen is, is that one car is faster in one area than the other. So he'll get ahead of him in the corners then when he gets in a straight line, he catches up. Then he gets in the corners, he slows down. So it's that's LG, It's a lot of reason why the people use that LG Retro Custom. Love this car. I hate the idea that it's back here. I want to see it farther up because it's just a good car. Here's Funkier. Oh, way off the, pay, the, the side there. We're going to jump up to Sneaky, who uh, unfortunately rear-ended. That's three laps to go. So he's in the first time, but he's got a lot of space between him and him and death. So here's death. Solid player today. Really brought his A game. Uh, had a real tar hard time getting every car dialed in, but it looks like he's going to finish up strong today. And this is here's Team Chris. And I'm going to say this she shows up, haven't seen her all week, practiced up perfect, drives her lap, says three words, is going to end up coming in second place today. I don't even know how to say it other than this is how you win championships. Um, is just be consistent and race each race how you have to race. Rhymes came in today, another person we haven't seen all week. Brings his car in, does what he needs to do, uh, makes his time. Unfortunately, he's going to be dropping a 59 today. That 895 is going to kill him, I'm sure, when he finally sees it. It's going to be, you know, it's going to hurt because he's going to drop him back. Um, but it is what it is. And then, of course, the man of the hour, Shaney, my favorite choice for the race today, easily just because of he's been bringing it all week. He's had the tracks. He's dialed it in. He's put in all the work. Um, and the thing is, is it's just going to show right here. So he's brought it down to a 1 minute point zero eight eight. Uh, unfortunately, that will not take away from, from Death's 1.040. So he's going to have... The best lap if nothing changes. So how close is Team Chris to this front pack here? We'll take a look. I want to say she's in the vision of the front pack. But she's not. There's a lot of difference between there and there's death. Bringing up the position. Yeah, there's a, there's a big track between the two of the fronts. So we're going to stick up here to the front two guys. That's the thing is, is once these guys start finishing... It's going to be the big, like, basically a one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So once we do that, we'll drop back to Sneaky. But it's been the first, the first race has been amazing today. These guys brought their A game. They brought everything. They left it all on the track. And I am really impressed with the, uh, the show in today. Once Shaney pulls, pulls his victory and it looks like he's going to make it an easy uh, easy one too um, that it's going to be it's going to show what what performance looks like when it comes to track based uh, driving especially when they're limited like when you're put to the test of being consistently this is where you have to be <laughs> it's amazing and it's so impressive too 
So as we we're driving here, driving into the last couple of S-curves here, now we're going to have the big long drag to see if Rhymes wants to put it up to his position and get himself back to back to the position he wants. If he gets that first, it'll, the worst he can drop is third. Shaney will still get that bonus point for um, being on being on pole. But he is not going to be able to do it. Tried his best to get there. Made everything nice and straightforward. But there it is. There he is crossing the finish line. We're going to drop back to Sneaky real quick here. And Shane says easy as he drives across. And there it is. And there goes Sneaky. The man of the hour, if I would. <laughs> so what we're going to do this, this race is we're going to start celebrating some of the guys that have made this race what it is today. Uh, these guys have been some of the best out there, and we want to applaud them for being part of AWC. We want to applaud you guys for checking us out on AWC. Don't forget, we're going to be here once again every Sunday at noon for at least 13 races. Congratulations to Shaney for running the race today. Thank you guys for tuning in. You have a great day, and we will talk to you next week. This is Primo from Autodromo NZL signing off.